All right, guys. So welcome back to the next part of this body commerce adventure into building an e-commerce site with Divi Body Commerce. Here, we're going to focus on the product page. But first, I wanted to do a little bit of an overview to give you an idea of what's in Divi now and then the tools you'll find within Body Commerce to help you build amazing e-commerce sites that relate specifically to our single product pages. So let's go and take a look. Okay, so now so far we've been using the Apple site as our guide here. And as you know, Apple, they do things amazingly from a design perspective, but this is probably going to be overkill for most e-commerce stores. This is a single product page for an iPhone. And then when you finally get down towards the bottom somewhere, it starts giving you more of the specs and the features and the attributes of the product. But I don't think it's going to be very helpful for us. So why don't we go ahead? and do something a little different, just to give you kind of like that baseline of how to get things going. So I'm gonna go here. So this is basically just a Divi website with uh, just WooCommerce installed, no body commerce or anything in there yet. And of course, where you set up those single product page templates is in the theme builder. So if I come to the theme builder, you'll just go and you'll say build new template. And then if you have WooCommerce installed, you'll have these products. Now, of course you can do things like build a template for products in specific categories or with specific tags or for a specific single product. We're just going to focus on all products because once you do that, you can kind of know how to do the other ones. So that's all good. Let's just create a template and then we'll just go to the custom body and we'll say build custom body. You guys should be familiar with this by now. And that's going to launch us here into the familiar Divi Boulder. So let me just add a row. I only really want to show you the modules available. So when you come down to Woo modules, here you'll find all the different elements that you can use. Now you can use the breadcrumbs, you can use things like the product title, the price, um, but really you're, you're quite limited to what's out there. You can add the reviews to the page, but you know, let's say you want to add like specific product attributes and display them a certain way or whatever. That's going to be a little bit harder to do if you're working with the stock Divi modules for WooCommerce. And then of course, you know, it's not going to have anything like those special variations on the page or anything like that. You're going to get a pretty straightforward selection of modules that you could use. Why don't we go and step over to Divi Body Commerce and let's go through the same steps here. And of course, you know, you're, Divi doesn't offer any type of global customization for those product pages and the flow of that. So let's come back here. First thing we're going to do is just quickly take a look here at Body Commerce again. And then you saw where we were in the theme builder just now. That's one place where, of course, you can set up your templates. But here, the first step in Body Commerce, the first tab is the product page template. And now you can select your main template. Now, this is going to feed in from the Divi library. So, yes, with Body Commerce, you can set up your templates in the Divi library that makes it very easy to assign these. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you're using WooCommerce and then build templates in the Divi theme builder, you shouldn't be building them in both places and you should never replace content or WooCommerce shortcodes that are on a page. You're definitely going to want to make sure you use either the Divi library or the theme builder to build your single page template for your products. So coming down here, you can make the product page full width very easily. You can have different product templates per category, and that's just gonna add all of these here. And then of course you can go ahead and select specific categories. Um, and you can just go further with this as much as you want to. You can also go to category pages where you can change stuff, but we've been through this already in the past. So we're not gonna go rehash that right now, but it's a good thing to know that you can really get in more granular if you go to the Divi library with switching things up real quick. So let's go to the Divi library here. And then I'm just going to make a quick template um, or start a quick template for us to start building this out. But we're just going to quickly do that overview of the different areas of that. So we're just going to say main product template. It's easy enough. We're going to make this a layout, of course. And I am just going to go ahead and submit this. And there we go with the build from scratch again. And then we are just going to go ahead. And for now, famous Divi double load. Love that so much. We'll make a single column here. And then all I want to do is come down here. And again, we've been through all the different modules for body commerce. And you guys already know that we have a specific naming convention here so um, that you can get to all the modules quickly. So we can go with two P's here and then you can see the different product page modules. Now you, you will see some of them are of course 
both. They can be on a different type of cart page, product page for cross-selling products and stuff like that. But you have so many options. You've, you've got gallery, you've got before sections, you've got bef after the sections, product navigation, you've got product content, product image, related products, reviews, sharing, so many different things that you don't see in Stock Divi. We're going to learn all about these to build out a pretty comprehensive product page so that you guys can get going and start building amazing sites with Divi Body Commerce and Divi. So let's get to it and we'll get started in the next lesson.